Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is BSL 17 Hostile League Round of 16 Group B, the final match. Unfortunately, I do not have the... Either I don't have the loser's match, or I believe Velger might have withdrawn, which advances Mittak to the final. Mittak starting the bottom left hand corner as the yellow Zerg up right hand corner. We got range starting as the purple Zerg. Or sorry, purple Protoss. Derp, derp. Uh, and this is going to be on Circuit Breaker. Natural expansion, pretty wide. Base right here, the eggs, and hard to defend mineral only from here. Um, but not super accessible third gas. The third gas, six o'clock, three o'clock location. You can see there's an inverted ramp to try to defend, which I think uh, encourages lurker play more than anything to try to encase any units that would wander down and try to abuse the low ground, high ground. Cross spawn positions. See an initial pylon being plopped down from ranged as Zerg have moved away from the 12th hatchery play in response to the gateway play that's moved Protoss more back to the forge openers as of late. We'll see if Mittak, sorry, ranged doesn't, is in fact opening gateway first in this match. We have an overlord to start and no spawning pool. So Mittak looks like he does want to go for a hatchery opener, which opens up some potential harassment in the early stages with the zealots. Always kind of a delicate procedure though. Range is going to scout top left hand corner, but should have plenty of time to move the Zealot cross map as far as a follow up with the additional probe scout. So it'll wander in and get the information right there. 12th hatch completed. Another drone making its own scouting powder and a second overlord making its way bottom right as well. Did the Overlords, it doesn't look like the Overlords saw the probe making its way this direction, so no adjustment on mid tech for the initial scout. First sell it in construction. And Range is going to find his target as he migrates in. The other thing is, is if he's very careful about this, he can spot the probe has a slightly wider vision range than the hatchery. It looks like he is going to wander in. At cross positions, it's a little bit tougher though, because there's these. Uh, on most maps, there it, it's a longer rush distance at cross positions. The drone now repositioning, going to head to upper right. At the very least, should be able to get some scouting information. But the probe with the zealot can create some problems in the initial stages, especially if there's an underproduction of zerglings. Drone is going to be able to spot that it's in fact a gateway opener. Second zealot marching, or sorry, that's the first zealot marching its way up. Expected to be a little faster than that. And showing. So just is that what just two Zerglings? So yeah, just a pair of Zerglings. So this Zealot's actually gonna be able to munch here in support with this probe, and a third hatchery being dropped at the nine o'clock. So Midtech honestly making a critical error here and not producing sufficient so yeah, losing all sorts of mining time, and that's only two Zerglings. Second pair there, but this is a lot of all these patches now not being mined. And this is at very early stages, and right now not mining at all as he's pulling all of the drones to deal with this Zealot. A pretty good drill, which mitigates some additional losses, but that's a lot of lost mining time overall. Probe does die immediately as far as a follow-up, which is not the best for Main. She probably wanted to keep that alive to see whether there was going to be a 973 follow-up, or I should say a Hydral scope in her follow-up, because it's not all 973 these days. There's all the adjustments on it as well. But in the meantime, Nexus on the way. Forge blockading another probe being sent out to get some scout. And it looks like there was production of at least six Zerglings to try to take a look at the front. Do we have additional? So we do. I believe this is a full blockade with the Zealots. So the Zerglings can try to test the front, but they'll, it'll be the dance. And it looks like that third hatchery is going to get spotted by ranged. So initial economic detriment. Cybernetic score warping in, and I do believe that is going to play to range's advantage overall. I mean, that goes without saying. Did economic damage earlier, so it benefits him. Of course. We did have a big flood of drones to follow this up, so Midtech actually closing the gap quite a bit. Not really going to pay for it because cross position until this cannon comes up, but honestly, if I was range and I saw this many drones, at the natural and already at this timing. Ooh, and a fourth hatchery very, very rapidly. 
So mid tech playing this very economically aggressively. So I would just leave a zealot with this cannon, or maybe leave it two zealots to blockade the ramp and try to march out. Maybe engage the zerglings. But we'll see if he can make mid tech pay for this, because mid tech doing a big jump in drones and in tech and otherwise. Stargate morphing in. The Overlord not quite in position to suicide in to get any sort of detected advantage. Range now moving some of the Zealots out. So now, that, yeah, four Zealots out in the field. A Sunken Colony is morphing here at the 9 o'clock, but four Zealots can take out a Sunken. Looks like that is where they're heading, and there's only three Zerglings otherwise. So this might be a shutdown base, potentially dead otherwise, but ooh, that... It's that amount, uh, presuming no drone support, and also presuming that the Zealots get there all at once. So now, all of a sudden, Midtech able to repel that attack. Which sort of rhymes, but not exactly. Hominin. Enranged, so he's got a 20 supply lead. He's got a solid worker lead now, all of a sudden. But, uh, that is going to negate the power of any sort of follow-up uh, follow Zealot. He's going to have fewer Zealots to go for the Zealot press. Did force a Spore... Interesting. A Spore Colony now. At the natural Evolution Chamber down. No Hydralis Den from Mittak, so... This is kind of an interesting play. I have not seen this before. So Spore Colony to help defend the Overlords on the front against the Corsair. Double Evolution Chamber for Hydralis upgrade. So this is going to eventually be Hydralis, but the Hydralis then coming out much later. And I think this might have just been a mistake in mid build. Maybe he didn't... But this is kind of interesting because based on the early two Evolution Chamber style, what this does do is it gives a window for mid to get a jump. So it's going to be behind plus one weapons versus no upgrades. But as far as the follow-up, with the double evolution chamber, he is going to have a quick follow of upgrades. However, range right now has the opportunity to spot it. Sees the double evolution chamber. So knows that it might be aggression as far as a follow-up. Let's see if he drops a second forge as well. Zelt leg speed now completing. So very, very sealed and layer tech coming as well. Mitak doing a little bit of everything. Additional hatchery. So looking at six hatcheries, quick upgrade, and I presume an attempt at a swarm and either a contain or a kill in the mid game. Defensive pylon for ranged. I don't see an additional forge as of yet. Instead, we're seeing the standard gateway flood and some high Templar being filtered in. Zealots are marching across the map, but this is a pretty decent SimCity. We'll see. Hydral spawning just in the nick of time. Ignoring the natural expansion, going to march right into the main. The drone's trying to drill and press, but not there. And now range has zealots in the main. And not enough, honestly, nowhere near enough hydrals to deal with it. Critical blow. Might be able to take down the hydrals den, maybe potentially the lair as well. Throwing units at his opponent just to try to stabilize, but that's going to be, I think that might be it. So the hydrals den looks like it's going to get wiped out. That means no more Hydralis to help defend this. And this is plenty of Zelts to deal with the Hydralis that are latently there. I'm gonna regather. Focus down the spawning pool now. Did we see Zerglings being produced? And the Corsair just going to work as well, although there is at least the Spore Colony to deal with that. The Zealots finally cleaned up. But this is a lot of down tech for a mid tech, and that was a lot of economic that usually you wanted to be surging to try to equalize the drone count right this second. Instead in desperation mode at kind of a little bit of a victory here where you got this Zerg well was the the zergling able to interrupt an initial base grab but not for long so he's got the evolution chamber upgrades running but where he wanted to have a sufficient economy to start rolling against his opponent now he's got to rebalance he's redropped the hydralisten he's gonna have to stay he's building it looks like another spawning pool at the nine o'clock He's having to restabilize effectively, now starting to surge in drones, and he's at half the supply count of ranged. Moving the Hydralisks up to try to stop that third base. But the Zalts with the leg speed and without the range 
I don't think it's going to happen quite yet. This is it, this was the I think the plan previous was okay. I'll have plus one armor and plus one weapons earlier. Instead, following it up with burrow. Interestingly enough, so I think what he's hoping to do is once the upgrades are complete, maybe uh, and he's actually delayed the additional. I was looking with the double evolution chamber for him to follow it up with a very quick. And I, again, I think this is because the economic disruption. But I was looking for him to go for another quick upgrade behind this, just now upgrading Zergling speed in the midst of everything else. So maybe with a clever burrow somewhere out in the field, you get behind the zealot lines. Right now the zealots at equal upgrades going to be repelled, ranged overstepping his bounds a bit. Should have Psystorm if he upgraded it to engage this. And this is, yeah, looks like a favorable engagement now for ranged. Mitek scrambling multiple directions. Psystorm, great Psystorm catching the edge of those Zerglings. Some Hydralis looking to pick up the High Templar from the rear, able to, well, not able to get them before they expend their Psystorm, which leaves Mitek with not much of an army in mid position and Archon morphing. It looks like the rest of the Hydralis trying to group up in between. And yeah, they're just running in between Psystorms. Again, still sitting at half. So Mitek's plans of having an upgrade edge and being able to run over his opponent by just overproducing Hydralis in the mid game the is turning more into a, a fantasy rather than a reality right this second Archons pressing in pushing them back to the natural expansion some Dragoons joining the fray and this is going to be yeah this is locking Mitak into a defensive situation and range can go ahead and grab an additional base more side storms it looks like a high Templar did get picked off as well as the Archon in the midst of this. Range doesn't have much of an attack force as far as the follow-up, but this is a lot of units that are not drones and no additional base being created. It looks like a drone is waiting there, but Range going to dive on top of that, force a cancellation, and going to be able to critically kill the drone as far as the follow-up. Could grab additional base himself. Looks like he's leaving a large portion of his army at home. We do have one the one missile, and I'm wondering if this double evolution chamber strategy was a mistake more than anything from Mintac Tournament Nerves, as he's only upgrading spines as far as the follow-up, but we do have double upgrades now working for ranged. And they're gonna end up ahead of this. And he's just continually cleared out the army. It looks like he's gonna get an overlord kill here as well. Just fantastic play here from ranged. Gonna go ahead and back up with all of his holdings. Single Zergling trying to take out that pile in here at the 12 o'clock. Might be able to do so. Cannon dropping, eh, maybe, nope. Nothing working out for Mitak here. At the very least he's got an army presence here mid map, but he's got half the worker count. He's gonna be down a base versus his opponent. He was already behind at even bases. And he's well behind as far as just raw army count. Now starting to engage the double upgrade on the evolution chamber as well. But it is going to be too late. And this has also delayed Lurker Tech quite a bit. This has delayed quite a few other aspects. A shuttle being constructed, maybe to go for some Psystorm drops. Burrowed Zergling is going to interrupt a base that could have been taken here at the 3 o'clock. We have, looks like we don't have any additional burrow at other locations, unfortunately. Overlord spreading out just to make sure that because and this is not this is very wise on Mitak's part and very validated where it's you know range could have taken every base in the midst of this with his map control but went for very conservative just one base additional grab zerglings ending up ahead of the rest of the army getting picked off we do have an army the observer not quite to forward field and it's zealots leading range having some trouble keeping his zealots out of that lurker line. High Templar joining. And it looks like a zealot finding Mitak trying to grab an initial base top left. Single zealots forcing that cancellation though. And again, Mitak, you can see the desperation from Mitak here trying to grab an additional base and finding nothing. Ranged very close to 200 supply now. Good side storm mid map, more units flooding out. To engage a Hydralis somehow managed to get two Hydralis somehow managed to engage. I don't even know that they're going to be able to take the Zealot at the current upgrade. We'll watch. There is another. Looks like okay. Two Hydralis still beat 
a zealot, but bear. Nope, nope, no, they don't. There you go. Now we know. Oof. Yeah, and there's GG from Mittac. Convincing win from ranged. Did it go up 1 0 in the final match? Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.